Hi, I'm Gary Gibbons, the creator of Kingdom for Patch Up 2. In this video, I'm going to show you what is included in the pack, share how some of the presets were programmed, and near the end of the video, play a few compositions. Okay, let's get this started. Kingdom has 250 presets that were created from recordings of ethnic instruments like kalimbas, a guzun, a whole bunch of taiku drums, frame drums, several doombeck and jimbi drums, marimbas, Chinese bells, a bass ukulele, a rain stick, an alto recorder, a bamboo flute, and presets made out of bamboo chimes. I recorded male and female vocals to create choir and whistling patches. I also created resynthesized samples of Chinese instruments, violins, and other granular instruments. When I first started this project, I figured out different ways to use the arpeggiator as a drum sequencer. For example, I discovered interesting ways to change the texture of individual steps. So after coming up with patterns that play as a loop, I started programming aftertouch commands to offer more variety. These commands activate the aftertouch to achieve pitch bends or an option to change drum patterns while the loop is playing. So that means when the mod wheel is activated, the drum pattern can play differently, making the drum preset more playable. For example, the preset Enlightened Aftertouch has a Taiku drum loaded on layer A and a Jimby on layer B. When I play a single note, it sounds like this. And when I play with the aftertouch activated, it sounds like this. Now if I activate the mod wheel, the pattern stays the same, but the grain duration values change achieving a different effect like this. Okay, let's move over to the Guitar Plucked folder and check out some of the arpeggiated Guzun presets. Here is one called the Guzun Expedition. The concept behind this preset is you can play one note to trigger the arp steps like this. Then you can play octaves to trigger two separate arp patterns like this. Another option, I can play my own melodies and rhythms by triggering the first note of the pattern like this. I can also activate the mod wheel and slightly change the pattern by lowering the value of some of the individual notes. It sounds like this. Alright, let's have a look at one of my favorite pad presets in the Kingdom pack called Bird Residence. For this preset, both layers use the same sample. On the first layer, I use LFO4 to scan the sample, and LFO3 to randomly change the grain format. Let's have a listen.
On layer B, I used one grain to play a small portion of the sample and programmed LFO3 to slowly change the spectrum by pointing at the grain format. And now when I activate the aftertouch, you can hear that the note has vibrato. If I activate the mod wheel, the grain position moves a little bit to the right of the sample. Next, I'm going to play a percussive demo that I created called Epic Tribes. This composition has 36 presets that are straight out of the box using no track coloring or mastering. Let's have a listen. Okay, awesome. Now I'm going to play a composition that I put together using several wood and bamboo presets called Bamboo Expedition. Just like the last composition, I have not added any track coloring or mastering. Let's check it out. Well, okay, it looks like we're at the end of the video. Thanks for joining me here, and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Cheers. Kingdom.